Hi guys and welcome back. Thank you for joining me. This is a Tuesday sketch sesh and I'm going to be drawing a very simple, very, very simple portrait illustration of my hero, Frida Kahlo. The inspiration that I kind of had behind this other than simplicity was that like was kind of that of a Russian nesting doll, if that makes sense. I think you'll see what I mean at the end when you see the complete illustration. But for this video as well, this was the first project that I used some new pens that I bought for patterns by an artist named Gal Shiran, or Shiran, I am so sorry, I probably really messed that up. I had seen his pens advertised before, um, well I guess they're not pens, they're for patterns specifically. So I had seen them advertised before on my Instagram and they looked very interesting, they're very compelling, um, they really are very vibrant. They, In the ad at least, they made all the illustrations look a lot more interesting, so in any attempt to make my art a little bit more interesting um, in any way I can, I decided to invest in them. So the drawing process itself, I'm not going to go far too into. That is, this part here with the noses is just kind of to show that I'm really bad at noses. So I kind of just traced over a reference photo I had of Frida Kahlo and I stuck it on the face that I already had. Noses, noses, ears, and lips are really bad for me. <laughs> I am not a big fan of drawing them. This method for the eyelashes was probably a lot more difficult than it needed to be. But like, you know, we're learning here, it's fine. I actually really enjoyed drawing the unibrow. I don't know what it was, it's just that I kind of wish that my unibrow got like that too, you know? If there's anything I love more about drawing faces, if there's anything that I love the most, it's blush. I love putting blush on faces. Now this is the fun part where we get to use the patterns. And I, you know, went for Frida Kahlo's very signature flowers that she wears in her hair sometimes. Um, she'll either wear a ribbon or she'll wear flowers. I decided to go with flowers and instead of drawing, you know, an actual flower with petals, I was like, why don't we bring a more illustrative element to it and just make some patterns to make it a little bit more compelling and i honestly love the depth of these like i love the way that in the middle like you know it it obviously fades off like the lighter that you go and i think it just brings such a unique depth to the illustration i absolutely actually adore it so that was what i did for the flowers i used a lot of um you know, for I used a net, I used rain, and I use, I believe it's bubbles. I think it's bubbles, or is it foam? It's either bubbles or foam that I used for the pink flower on the left. And for my leaves, they are my, um, you know, the leaves that come on the flowers. I bet you there's a name for them, but I can't think of it. I use the wave element. So this is almost the finished result, but the pen for the pattern I was most excited for was the arches. I had seen that one on the Instagram at the most, and I was so excited to try this one. It was crazy. I just thought it had a really pretty, pretty design. It just made things pop. So I started out with a smaller 
thing. And like, I just was like, no, this has to be big. This has to be big. So I made it as big as I could. Um, and honestly, I loved it, but I really wanted to bring more depth obviously, and make my, my illustration a little bit more interesting. So I didn't go ahead and just cover the whole page with it. You see that gradation of the pattern versus the bottom. See how it fades out under the dove? That's what I wanted. I also went ahead and played with some patterns on this little dove that I uh, drew here. Just a simple, it's a simple little illustration. And I was just trying to use these patterns to make it more interesting of an illustration. Honestly, I played around with this dub for a little bit because I really wasn't sure what pattern would look really good on him, but we ended up getting there. I went for the rain, but I didn't really want to use rain because I'd already used it on a flower, and then I messed up there, but it's alright. And this is going to sound weird, but now that I'm looking at it, this one, which is scratches, this pattern, looks like the floor of the church I used to go to very briefly when I was a child when I went to church for like some of my upbringing. And so it kind of makes sense because dubs are kind of like the spiritual little thing. And now they've got church floor designs on them. You know what I'm saying? But I decided not to go with that and instead looked at foam. Even though I'm pretty sure I used it in a flower. But that was my final decision for some reason that I could probably justify at that time. Let's just go ahead and duplicate that. And then voila! Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're still here, I really appreciate it. And I just strive to be creative and this makes me happy. So, hope you enjoyed it!